Pokemon is one of the most well-known games of all time. Go around, catch some little guys, make them fight Pokemon Jesus, win the game, we love it. It's the best. I mean, look at Pikachu. Everybody knows Pikachu, little fucking rat, hamster, motherfucker. But would you believe there are people out there who don't know anything about Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, me neither. So I found the last four people on earth who don't know anything about Pokemon, and I made them play in a competitive tournament. That's right, Natures, EVs, IVs, and Pokemon they've never even heard of. Wait, why isn't Earthquake affected? No! They're gonna play in a round robin, and the winner gets a large size Pokemon plushie of their choice. The losers, nothing. Make sure to subscribe so I can take over the world and let's all cringe together. Now I thought that setting up a Pokemon tournament would be pretty easy. I even had the teams built for them by a competitive Pokemon YouTuber, but little did I know just how difficult even making the teams would prove to be. All right, kids, EVs, EVs, what does it mean? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I don't even remember. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually, the round one matchups were set. Lex, you'll be fighting Kofi. Sarah, you'll be fighting Malik. And uh, uh, boy, do we have a lot to unpack. Now, I'm not a Pokemon pro myself, so let's go to Temp 6T to briefly explain how each of these round one matchups work. We got an offensive team featuring Blacephalon. We got three insane tackers with Blacephalon, Big Mel Metal, and Tapu Lele. All three are pretty brainless. You just click the funny colorful button and you one shot anything in front of you. You got Landorus, the goat, slow bro who teleports all game like he's in Dragon Ball Z. And a Shifu rapid strike to sweep late game with his choice scarf. We got a bulky offense focusing on Swords Dance Weavile. This team is crazy boring. It's very boring. You just punch Pokemon with Mel Metal, use all the annoying defensive Pokemon like Tornadus, Slow King, and Toxapex. Sorry, I, I don't like Toxapex. And then you try and clean up with Weavile, the coldest Pokemon in the game, until his dad drops in the Scarlet and Violet. But don't tell anyone that I said that. Hyper offense with Big Rillaboom. Rillaboom is here to make it boom, lead with Landorus, set up Stealth Rock, die, switch out to one of your five OP Pokemon, set up, attack, send out the next one until you win. Go crazy. Got a hyper offense using Dragon Dance, Mew. This team is a lot less conventional than everything else here, but it's got some you know, you got Air Balloon Heatran to body the ground types like Lando and Garchomp. Big Body Blaziken, Swords Dance and destroys everything. Shadow Generation 3. Mew gets Dragon Dance so he can really go insane sometimes. Stall. With Stall, you just make your opponent hate Pokemon and they will never want to play Pokemon ever again. Now, let me ask you, how do you think these fights turned out? Did they follow Temp strategy? Or did they get creative? I'm gonna cut you off there because they didn't even know how types work, dog. <laughs> what, uh, how, how Burleazy say? I'm sick of his ass. <laughs> So after Kofi uses literally every move except the super effective one, and then uses a multi-hit water move against Rocky Helmet Toxapex, Kofi starts to find his rhythm. And by rhythm, I mean he learns about Pulsepalon. And what does Malik do? With his tanky, fire-resisting Toxapex, he uh, switches into Weavile and proceeds to get wiped. This I'm getting destroyed right now. And after losing that many Pokemon and making a few costly errors. Get out of here, buddy. Uh oh. Kofi takes round one. And how about the other round one battle between Violet Lex and Sarah? They played an Ubers match by accident. Even though they made their own teams and didn't see any of their own team members. <laughs> anyway, here's some highlights. Oh, what? No! Run out of water Pokemon? <laughs> Stealth Rock. Wait, why did I get HP from that? Try Iron Head again. Oh! Oh! Three. Going into round two, the winner will play the winner, and the loser plays the loser. Oh, and if you stick around till the end of the video, you can see all the bloopers that these guys made in their matches. Now, for round two, Temp decided to give our clueless comrades more strategic, but still powerful teams. So I'll let him tell you about So Big Blacephalon, the GOAT, the God, the Legend. Got 151 base special attack and 107 speed, so that gives you 401 special attack and 344 item of choice specs, which is going to increase that 401 special attack by 50%. Do some quick maps and you get 601 special attack. Then you use Overheat, a move with 130 power, or you just use any other moves that it has and do crazy damage to everything in the game except for like Chansey and Tyranitar, I guess. But out of all these strategies, none, and I mean none, were even close to the power of the bane of Pokemon itself, Stall. 
All right, so stall is like one of the most annoying team styles to fight, but it's not like the easiest to use. You know, it's not brain dead. You pick stall, you drag out the battle for over 100 turns of non-stop switching, statusing, and healing. Easy to make mistakes with stall, and you get punished a lot harder when you make those mistakes. But if you make big mistakes against stall, you might as well just turn the game off and throw your PC out the window. Lucy destroys every special attacker. Fox effects destroy every physical attacker. Your ability regenerator literally heals you for switching out. Gastrodon, wall all the electric types. Stop setup with clear smog. Burn Pokemon with Skull. There's no brain power required. Corviknight, Dookie on half the Pokemon in the game. Use U-turn and switch 24/7. Buzzwool, destroy all the physical attackers with ease. We're also hitting like a truck because this Swole bastard also has 139 base attack. Larian Slow King, wall more special attackers. Use Future Sight to be annoying. Pretty much you're only losing the Tapu Lele and Pokemon like that because they're they're OP. So yeah. With that frustrating, evil, downright scumbag team. Kofi goes up against the other undefeated trainer, Violet Lex. And even though there were some bright moments, like Lex using Aurora Veil to stop the toxic spikes, and using Hex on a paralyzed Pokemon for extra damage, it all came crashing down when the ultimate life form appeared. Blissey. Blissey, like in most competitive matchups, turned out to be the most destructive Pokemon these rookies have ever seen. And it was going to make its presence felt. Tankier than Reinhardt in a German Panzer, with recovery moves, and the almighty toss. It wasn't even close. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. Now on the other side, the two underdogs fought for a spot at the table using counter teams, one Sandstorm team and one team using the Rain. Now, just based on Pokemon knowledge, the Rain team should have a slightly better time. But when you don't even know how to activate the Rain or Sandstorm, things can quickly get chaotic. And because I don't know how these teams work either, I'll let Temp explain this for you. It's a rain team with a quillfish. Annoying team to fight. Uh, flip turn the entire battle with that Barrascuta. Do like 80 million damage to everything while switching around the entire time. Thunderous is a crazy threat. You got like Weather Ball and Rain to give you a 100 power water attack. So ground types go from beating you easily to just dying. And then there's a sand team focusing on Excadrill and Dracozolt. We got Arctozolt's dumb little cousin, Dracozolt here. Uh, this guy just loses to Landorus, who's like a top two Pokemon in the game. But hey, part is why it's good. You damage it with Draco Meteor and paved the way for my boy Excadrill the God. He doubled its speed with Tyranitar Sand, double the power after using Swords Dance, and double the pain when you fight a Corviknight because it completely walls Excadrill. Let's go! Barrascuda! Wait, why isn't Earthquake effective? No! He's not! Yes! Oh my God, we won! With Sarah's narrow victory, the final stage has been set. Malik and Lex, Sarah and Kofi. It's anybody's race, except for Malik. He lost twice. Also, side notes, uh, I, I ran out of teams for the final round, so we just switched them around. Sorry. With Kofi 2-0, I decided to give Sarah the almighty stall. And since Malik was 0-2, I decided to give him the almighty cake pop looking motherfucker. Let's see how they did. When the dust settled, Malik finally got his first victory. Kofi, even against the Sarah stall squad, came away victorious, winning the tournament in the hearts of everyone who fucking hates stall strats. And just like that, the tournament ended, and these trainers gained some valuable experiments in the world of Pokemon. And honestly, they didn't do too bad. I mean, sure, there are no Alpha Rad, Pokemon Challenges, or Flygon HG, but they had fun and were even willing to show their lack of skill to the whole world. And at the end of the day, they have my utmost respect and admiration. And uh, oh yeah, here's all the mistakes they made. Okay, have a good one, bye. What the f is that a metal Pokemon? Ooh, I feel like I should use Steel on Steel, right? I held on for as long as I could. <laughs> I saw him. I was fighting for dear life, dude. <laughs> Putting in the effort, you were hanging on my thread. Wait, why is it Rick Wicked Fetcher? No! Weak ass poison, bro. This is sucks, bro. My team sucks. Either my team sucks or this, this team is OP as fuck. Oh, finally! Oh my, I'm tired of getting my ass beat. I have to watch Kofi's game. I'm so excited to watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> You 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 have me you have me perplexed on that first one. So I just used one move, right? Yeah, it smoked his whole team. Yeah, beat you. Felt rock, beats boost, flamethrower, blissephalon. I was like, nah. Why do I have a Groudon if it's not on my team? Why did you did you pick a random team to go on the fight? I clicked my team. I, guess I definitely cheated. I definitely cheated then. Uh, yeah, you definitely <laughs> cheated. Exactly. I did cheat. That was like, this Wait, does not make sense. Up. I was like, there's no way. Oh, I can recover. Oh, shit. Oh, 
so why did I just put two and two together? I was like, recovered? Okay, no wonder I'm gonna get my ass kicked.